idea for this uh, special issue actually we had a scholarship that is a big sau border studies fellowship we started with selecting 11 young scholars young student basically working on a border studies the idea was to promote border studies and why because if you look at the border studies literature in south asia you don't find much i'm not saying that there are people who have really worked well but the kind of a literature that is required for this kind of a border which is which is in a way new but also very complex uh, so uh, we we thought that let's promote uh, let's bring young students let's let's see what they think about the south asian borders and this is how this entire thing is started and when we reviewed the paper that we received uh, we find it very interesting some of the papers are very interesting we got it reviewed from external members and they also uh, recommended that this should be published somewhere so that people will come to know like what kind of research or what people are thinking about south asian borders and then uh, the big review uh, we approached and they they fortunately said yes for us and because it's it's really difficult to find uh, a journal for young scholars so they said yes and uh, finally they also got it got this paper reviewed because they had their own process and uh, these students have worked very well on these papers and we selected five papers for this journal um considering the themes which is important for south asia and also the considering the strength of the paper so these were two criteria like out of 11 we selected five uh one of the things when we talk about south asian borders uh, if you look at the south asia from a socio cultural point of view you'll find there is a lot so much of connect between people between people of india pakistan between people of india bangladesh between people of india nepal bhutan sri lanka there's so much of commonality but when 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 you look at from an economic perspective when you look at from integration perspective you'll find that this is a least integrated region of the world intra regional trade is somewhat like around 5% animosity between india pakistan to nuclear powers so that makes this region very complex and and people uh, generally think why why these people are not connecting with each other and one of the answers from the border studies perspective i would say that the kind of a complex border that we have created and if you look at the south asian borders most of these borders are were created in last two centuries basically it was a british colony at one point of a time so they created these borders for their administrative convenience for their own political strategic regions uh, like the durand line uh, which is which divided pashtun into two different countries afghanistan and pakistan and even today that is a point of controversy the india pakistan border for that matter the way it got created uh, bloodshed violence communal riots uh, the india uh, the bangladesh border india bangladesh border the way it got created that indian liberation movement and within that liberation movement so much of suppression uh, so much of killing <clears throat> that was involved so there are two things about south asian borders one the way it got created and we somehow i would say unfortunately have also acquired the british security understanding of borders in south asia we have not departed from that understanding so <clears throat> the way it got created particularly the india pakistan borders and this is what we call as post partition post colonial and post partition region south asia so there is a kind of a security anxieties about borders in south asia but at the same time this is a developing region we really have to connect with each other and we have to cross these border we need more bridges not fences that but the reality is that there are fences and very less bridges in south asia so with this kind of understanding we said that let's uh, select thematically of course as i said that the strength was also one of the points and we have five papers in this uh, special section uh, paper 1 is uh, on a very important theme uh, uh, and that is by uh, 
by by uh, sampurna bhave uh, and she talked in that paper she talked about india bangladesh border town uh, kuch bihar and south dinajpur uh, and and she she brings the perspective of the borderland community she looked at she had done a field work there and she explains like how for the common people who are living in the border and because the kind of a securitized borders that south asia have these people are always under a surveillance of the security personnel very securitized borders so wherever they are moving there is always some kind of surveillance they are not free uh, despite uh, the borders the kind of a borders that are there there is a lot of security arrangement but the day to day necessities are not available whether it's the health sector they have to travel a long distance for the healthcare facilities uh, the lack of educational institute in this region so that is one part so because because sitting in the new delhi we always think that borders are, are different but at the borders the way people because they are living at the borders so for us it may be a issue of territoriality it may be the issue of security but for them it's a issue of livelihood it's a issue of day to day life so that particular paper brings uh, this aspect about the south asian border related to india bangladesh the second uh, paper is another very interesting because if you compare india bangladesh border with india pakistan border india pakistan border is more securitized in fact considered as one of the most volatile borders in the world because these two are nuclear powers and the history of war between india and pakistan there has been three wars between india and pakistan so how and 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 and, and this is a very recent border last 70 years or so not more than that it was a united country in 70 years we created this border and failed to move beyond that uh, so uh, the second paper talks about the loc border and that is by rachel de silva uh, and and that's another very excellent uh, paper i would say uh, she talks about uh, that is this region punch district and how the identity of the people as i said that before 1947 there was nothing like india pakistan so you created border and for people within one night they they really fail to understand that now we are a citizen of two different countries it is no more my country you know so the way the identity got transformed in this region the paper actually covers that and when i say identity got transformed it is not only 1947 that there was war between india pakistan so every time there is a war you know border is the first political theater for states so it it means the state pay a lot of attention as how these people think at the borders we have to really make them more nationalist in their orientation etc etc so it's a very interesting paper because uh, we we because india pakistan we look at from a security point of view we never look at from the people's point of view those who lives at the border because one fine morning you told me that i am a pakistani citizen or i am a indian citizen so people really was confused but this kind of identity formation has not stopped in 1947 it continues till today so bringing a narrative from a borderland community is a is a very good thing and one should know and this that is the strength of this paper uh, the third paper is when we talk about south asia one of the issues about uh, south asia or, or, or for the rest of the world is also the refugees we have seen refugee crisis in europe and how it became a big political issue south asia which is a developing country europe is a prosperous country region but even there refugee issue was a big issue south asia is a developing country and then the rohingya refugees large influx of rohingya refugees to south asian countries created a lot of trouble in terms of the local political narrative in terms of why should we welcome them because we have our own issues or we have our own problems so there are two papers uh, on rohingya refugees and we 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 
we thought that let's cover it because this is a sub, something which is very important and not covered so much in south asian literature we have not looked at the problems of rohingya refugees so the next two papers in this uh section is on rohingya refugees and one is by uh, shariful he's from bangladesh and he 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 looked at uh the issues that are in bangladesh related to rohingya refugees because uh there's a large if if you look at the refugees in different south asian countries the rohingya refugees most of them are in bangladesh so what kind of problem they are facing and he the another important point about this paper is that it is not a, only about the problem that the rohingya refugees are facing but also the kind of a problem that is arising because of the local politics on rohingya refugees means they are not welcomed in a way so there are issues so how how statelessness how how border crossing how 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 when you are forced out of one border when you lose your state identity what it becomes and how how people feel so that you you'll find that this description that kind of discussion in this paper the next is by uh, another uh, by 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 rachel this is sorry the india uh, the the paper on uh, india pakistan border was by malika malvika sharma sorry uh, and this one by rachel de silva and and and, and she brings uh, she had done an extensive uh interviews of rohingya refugees those who are settled in hyderabad uh interestingly uh because even i was not aware that uh, rohingya it's a, it's a state it's a, it's a it's a capital of one of the south asian uh, south indian states in india and even i was not aware that a lot of rohingya refugees are in hyderabad so uh she brings a very uh, important narrative of these people what kind of problem they are facing in terms of uh, education of their uh, their kids in terms of uh, medical facilities and many other things the day to day problems because they are not a part of a state system they are refugees so that was the fourth paper in this issue uh, the last paper is by udipta ranjan uh, another very important paper uh, and this is the india bangladesh border management you know uh, in the last few like last 4 5 years there are some positive news about india bangladesh border uh there are negative issues as well like the border fencing it's the sixth largest land border and the border fencing uh there are killings uh, at the border by security forces those who try to cross the borders uh, but uh, there are something positive like border hub the border markets that came up in last 4 5 years and and th- those border hearts are actually connecting the people of both the sides so border heart in a way is a positive story so how how india bangladesh border management is something very important and he looked at the rivers like you can you can you can demarcate the lands but what about the rivers and rivers sometimes changes their course you know so and he calls is a non human factor in the in the border management because you can not you really cannot control uh, this kind of thing so it's an excellent paper and also for anyone who who want to understand more about the india bangladesh border management uh, a very less has been written a lot of paper are there on how the security issue is there how fencing is going on but the border management between the two side is is very important and as i said that in last a uh, few years we have seen the improvement of relation between india bangladesh and that we can see that kind of impact on about borders as well so how borders are being managed how this non human factors are also very important between the two sides so this is how we have uh, uh selected all the five papers and we 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 got a very good feedback uh, uh, from 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 different people who are interested in border studies and we hope that this will generate some kind of a uh, new debate on borders and i i would really like to thanks the big review for 
or for accepting this because without that we would not have been we would not have published it so uh now it's now it's, and, and 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 the other very good point is that all these papers are freely available it's an open access source so it will be i i hope that people are going to read it and they are going to give their feedback their critical assessment on this paper and the good point is that this will help the border studies in south asia the kind of uh, objective that we have is to bring more and more people interested in south asian borders to work to do more research i'm sure that this issue will definitely a step in that direction so thank you